I imagine they're like us. It's, uh, in some ways, it's a day we look forward to, and in other ways, it's a day where we're just overcome with a sense of sadness. It will be an emotional weekend in Peace River. That's where the humble Broncos are playing their first game in five months since the bus crash claimed the lives of 16 people. The Northern Alberta community is a fitting place to start anew. It's the hometown of late Broncos bench boss Darcy Hogan, where he also coached for 12 years. Tonight we begin that uh, celebration of Darcy's life and honor his contribution to our community, our team, our young men, and of course uh, the impact he had in Humboldt. Albert Cooper gave Hogan his first head coaching job back in 2003 for the North Peace Navigators, sharing five championships along the way. But he says it was Hogan's ability to look beyond the standings that made him truly special. We wanted to emphasize fitness. We wanted to emphasize character. We wanted to help build young men. And that was more of a target than was uh, successful hockey. Undoubtedly, this weekend marks an important milestone for the Broncos, but it's also an important step forward in Peace River's healing journey. You know, a few of us from the area were able to go to his funeral, but most of the people in the area didn't have that opportunity. So we're all really thankful that we have a chance to honor Darcy uh, with Humboldt in our community. This weekend, sold-out games are just one part of a larger tribute. The Navigators will honor Hogan before their season opener on September 22nd. And Cooper says the team also plans to build a lasting tribute to the man who helped to nurture so many young lives from behind the bench. It's our hope that we can put a statue up to Darcy because Peace River is getting a new recreational complex. And we would like to have that statue there. So we're in the process of raising the funds to do that. In Edmonton, Courtney Terrio, City News.